Hello everybody guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a Honkai Star Rail Tips and Tricks Guide for Planet uh, 3 on the Simulated Universe. I'm going to show you guys what team I use and recommended teams as well as what type of path you guys want to choose. So if you guys like this video, like the video. If you guys want to subscribe, subscribe to the channel, helps out a lot. Also, if you guys want more Honkai Star Rail videos, let me know in the comment section below and let's get straight into today's video. All right, so for this, we're going to do <clears throat> World 3, and we're going to do on Standard uh, Difficulty 1. I mean, you could use the same thing, same team for Difficulty 2 and 3. You just need to make sure that your characters are highly upgraded. Um, the reason why we're going to do Difficulty 1 is just to be able to go through the world faster because we're going to do a live playthrough. Um, but just think about these people are going to be more tougher, so they're going to have more health, um, and they're gonna have more attacks, so you're just gonna be you're just wanting to have your characters more upgraded um, to the current level um, So we're just gonna do difficulty one and we're gonna run um, I run Savelle as DPS um, Savelle, Branya, Silverwolf, and Bailey. This is what I run um, You can change out Silverwolf if you want for like her if you wanted to or blade um blade's not entirely necessary you could run even the mc for tank usage you could do that um it's but it's not entirely necessary and the only reason why i'm running silver wolf is so i can change the um shield weakness on these characters um Savelle's going to do most of the work here. So it's not entirely necessary to run her, Civil Wolf. Uh, in fact, you don't need to. You can if you want. It's up to you. I run her because I like her. I like to use her. Um, you could also run... Um, uh, let's see... Um, you could run him if you wanted to. Um, Asta, you could run Asta if you wanted as well. Um, you run Dung Hong if you want. Uh, he's definitely one you could run. Uh, Sampo, I forgot his name for a second. So you can use Sampo, you could use, instead of Bailey, you could use Natasha if you want, just because of the shield weaknesses. Those will come in like super, super handy. Um, but again, it is not necessary. Um, but this is the team we're going to be running. And um, especially if we run against this guy, this guy's annoying, especially as a counter ability. It's very, very annoying. Um, uh, let's see. If forgot her name. If Sun, uh, Sun Shung wasn't, isn't, was level 70, I would run her, but she's not, she's not level 70, and she's not fully built yet, but she is somebody you can run on this, and it's actually pretty highly recommended that you run her, um, so I would switch out Silver Wolf for her, if you, if you have her built. I have my Silver Wolf built better than her right now, so I'm going to be running it instead. And we're going to be running the hunt path as well. And we're going to run this one just so I can nullify damage for a little bit. Can't stop the and basically we're going to have the entire thing on auto. Um... We're going to have everything on auto up to the boss. The boss we're not going to do on auto. So if you have to refresh it to get the Hunt's Path, I'd recommend it. I'd recommend running these. When a character's turn ends, their actions um, is advanced forward. So you're able to uh, get your turn back faster. Um, be able to do more. If you don't get something that will like shield the characters, have an increased crit damage, um, 
If you're running an ice one, that one's fine. When a character HP is full, their damage received is reduced. That's also good, especially if the he uh, if you have a healer. Um, wow, this game doesn't like me right now. A character's HP after inflicting weak damage breaks an enemy, so that's fine. Um, but you really want the hunt path cards if you can. Um, it just. My random luck right now. You can fight it. So Zavel's gonna be doing a lot of damage. You could switch out again, like for the tenth time. You could switch out um, Silver Wolf for a DPS if you were gonna go as far as to do that. Maybe we'll do a run at some point um, with Sunshine once she's built. See how good she is. But my Silver Wolf does a lot of damage, and she's very useful. Okay, so you better give me two Hunts cards. Wow. This game does not like me right now. Okay, so this is the ability that we're going to be using. And it does a lot of damage, and it's going to really help you with the fight against your bard. And you yes, will see why when we get into that box fight. Um, but it just does so much damage, as you can watch the same just a second bar. Now, of course, this is on a lower level, so it won't be doing as much damage as that, but it will be doing quite a bit of damage. And the way that your bard fight goes, you were gonna need to use this ability huh. These targets in order to um, in order to beat his warriors and be able to fight him one on one. This is double speed. The soldiers that he sends out in each stage. You can fight it or rock with it. Now the reason why we're doing this on a lower level is just so we can like go through this and I can show you how how it works. Now, once you get enough, when you get six blessings, you're going to want to choose, you can choose, you're going to end up with two of these, two more or more of these. So, I usually like to go with this one first, just because it gives me an additional, um, additional ability uh, fill, and then after that, this one will give you an automatic fill after you kill an enemy with, its, with, the, with the blessing. Now some of those areas you can talk to Herda and you can get upgrades and stuff like that. Um, and if you're lucky you can get more Hunts cards from her. Um, but it's not entirely necessary. You can if you want. It's up to you. <laughs> now the only person right now on my team that can even match a bar right now is my Saval. But she does so much damage that I'm not particularly worried about it. As you can see, she's basically carrying the team. Even though my characters are like well, they're like 30 levels above, if you don't have the correct team comp, even 30 levels can make the difference in you winning and losing. Really? Oh, we're gonna do a double fight now. Can't stop. So, if I get somebody low enough... So, I got my... Oh, I will get it. So, basically there, I killed four people. I would get my charges back immediately. Both my charges back. By killing a, an enemy, I get one charge. But right now, what the ability does, it gives me additional charge as well as each turn, it increases the, it refills the charge. The parts of the, parts of it. But I should be able to get the second one in just a second. Okay, maybe next go. 
Oh, I hate this one. This guy is so annoying. Ready when you are. And I only have one. one. <laughs> so this guy's annoying because of his counter ability. It, this shouldn't be an issue for me. Just because it's on a lower level, but on a, a higher level, like like you have D3, this guy can be super annoying and he can wipe out your team very easily. You can fight it. So we don't want him to have a turn if we can. Because he's gonna create a counter ability that every time you attack him, he will attack you. This is double speed. Oh, give me a gold hunt. Oh, I got you. Okay, after you need me. Okay, so this either one of these are good. I like this one better because when you break an enemy shield with weakness, you're you get to go again, basically. Um, so this is the one. I see this one. Yeah, you want this one. Um. So we're almost to the end here. 9 out of 13, so this will be 10 out of 13. So there's two more stages before we get there. Not like it's really necessary at this point. So when you get to this point, you can go ahead and upgrade uh, whatever you have. Um, at this point, for me, it doesn't really matter. It, just because I'm so high level, it's not going to matter much. But in your cases, if you're doing this one, uh, and you're not level 70 characters, then I would highly recommend that you do it. Now in this case, I use Beilu, um, so we don't take a lot of, we automatically get a heal. I use Branya to courage. increase damage, and then I use Savelle for the yeah, start the fight. Now, Stay we're gonna do this on manual, so I can explain how this works. So he's gonna attack already, unless your speed's high enough. These two knights, on the first turn, it doesn't really matter. The phase two and three is where those two knights that he summons does matter, okay? And my recommendation is try to I keep as wait. much skill points as possible, <laughs> or use abilities that will get you this your needs um, optimal. This is double speed. skill points back. Now, in this case, it is... On my, command. my damage is going to do a lot, but... Um, you want to try to... Don't use your R ability on stage one. We've entered the storm. Right? To guard and defend, crush them. Right now, you just want to do damage. Lend me your strength. This song's for you. Turn it up. And you Can want to I break a shield. This time? Time for a fun. <laughs> Pretty good. That's all you want to do. This combat. <laughs> this is double speed. Now again, he's gonna have a lot more health. Keep up. Okay, so this is where things start mattering a lot, okay? Um, at this point, I believe right about here, so on after this turn, he will create a shield that the will basically allow everybody to be non null It will basically nullify all abilities and the um, uh, shield weakness. So what we're gonna do is use our two R abilities right now, get rid of them, and get it back. Let's go. On my command. This ends here. Let me your wound. Right. So he didn't create it yet. Or maybe on this one he doesn't. Um. Because I'm just doing so much damage to him. But in higher levels he would create a he would create a shield. And you have to damage the shield before you can damage his health. Once the shield is gone, then all the damage you did will be taken out of his health. Time for a 
fun. <laughs> I kind of want to show for you. <laughs> okay, so the third phase is the exact is the exact same as stage two, right? But the difference is these knights, the knights that he has, are extremely ridiculously annoying. You want to get rid of them as soon as possible. Because if he creates the shield, they do a lot of damage, and I will, I you know, I'll do it just deliberately so. Pretty good crowd today. There we go. Okay, so see how he created a shield. I have to break that shield before I can do more damage to him. Okay. Now, you can use your R ability and do lots of damage to a shield, or you can just continuously attack him, right? However you want to do it. Now, if I do this, it does a lot of damage, and then now I can basically attack, right? We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush now, them. I can do it again. Kill him. Be done with it. But you're not going to be able to get that many in higher tiers. But you're, that's basically how you want to want to do it. So the first stage, you're just going to kind of like do damage to him, get rid of his two his two things, his two guards. The second and third phase, you want to try to eliminate the guards before he's able to create the shield. And you can look at the left side of the screen and know when he's going to use it. You want to try to get rid of them so it's just a one-on-one -on -one basis. Um, and then um, when you ha know that you can take them out with one of them, then do that so you automatically get the charge back. Or when you can eliminate them both, you can use both. Uh, both of the R's so you can get both of the charges back. Then the th once you take them down to the third phase, then you just repeat the process. And... Um, Oh, I was able to get me the last piece. Nice. But um, yeah, that's all there is to it. And it's actually fairly simple, very easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys didn't leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until.